Welcome back to our third video on SQL, Structured Query Language or SQL. In the last couple of videos we had a little introduction to SQL and then in the last video we talked about the create statement, the main statement for creating objects in SQL. We created a database or in relational terms a schema and we also created a table. In this video, we're going to start talking about some of the basic data types that exist in SQL. The basic data types available for attributes include numeric, character string, bit string, boolean, date, and time, and more. Numeric data types include integer numbers of various sizes, integer or int, small int, uh, in fact, MySQL has a tiny int data type. And numeric data types also include floating point or real numbers with various precision. There's a float, there's a real, there's a double precision. Formatted numbers can be declared by using, for example, decimal open paren i comma j close paren or numeric open paren i comma j close paren where the i is the precision that is the total number of decimal digits and j is the scale which is the number of digits after the decimal point the default for scale is zero and the default for precision is implementation defined by that i mean if we were to declare a numeric data type let's say tiny int we might say tiny int open paren 6 close paren which would be an integer which means there's no decimal points and the 6 would indicate that it's uh, 6 characters in size character string data types are can either be fixed length which is re represented by these two statements here the n in parentheses indicates the length of the character or variable length stated with these data types. Varicare is the most common. Varicare open paren say 20 for example close paren would define a data type for a attribute as being a variable length character up to 20 characters long. While we're here thinking about it why don't we go ahead and define our mystery word and let the mystery word be varchar v-a-r-c-h-a-r open paren n close paren okay our mystery word for this video will be varchar open paren in close paren and that represents a variable length character data type why don't we take a little excursion here and go check out another source all right this is mysql data types and you see a number of string data types. Here's the character open print close. That is a fixed length character string. Varcar or varcar open print n would be a variable length string. Let's say we created an attribute f name and define it as varcar open print 20 close print. That basically means that data can be input in there, string data can be input into that attribute up to 20 characters long. If you put in Tim, for example, that's all the space that would be used, but you could put in Timothy and uh, still be fine with that. Let's see what else we got here. Here's some numeric data types, small int. There's that integer, big int, decimal numeric. Now, some of, several of these are uh, strictly MySQL data types and this looks like it may be dated because they don't show tiny int but there is a tiny int data type as well. Then there's the date time and timestamp data types and a number of others that can be used for MySQL. What do we see up here? Here are some Oracle data types so there you go. There's plenty of sources on the web, and I will be posting the uh, address for some of these on our website. 
When specifying a literal string value, it is placed between quotation marks or apostrophes, and it is case sensitive. There is also a concatenation character, denoted by the double bar, that can concatenate two strings in SQL. Bit string data types are either of a fixed length, bit open paren n, or a variable length, bit varying open paren n close paren, where the n is the maximum number of bits. The default for n, the length of the character string or bit string, is 1. A Boolean data type has the traditional values of true or false. In SQL, because of the presence of null values, a three-value logic is used, so a third possible value for a Boolean data type is unknown. The date data type has ten positions, and its components are year, month, and day in the form of yyy dash mm dash dd year month and day the time stamp has at least eight positions with the components hour minute and second in the form of hh colon mm colon ss only valid dates and times should be allowed by the sql implementation this implies that months should be between 1 and 12, and dates must be between 1 and 31. Furthermore, a date should be a valid date for the corresponding month. The less than character can be used with dates and times. An earlier date is considered to be smaller than a later date, and similarly with time. Literal values are represented by single quoted strings as before, preceded by the keyword date or time. For example, date quote 2008 09 27, or time quote 09 colon 12 colon 47. The list of types here are not exhaustive. Different implementations, as we've already seen, have added more data types to SQL. The timestamp data type includes date and time fields, plus a minimum of six positions for decimal fractions of seconds, and an optional with the time zone qualifier. Another data type related to date, time, and timestamp is the interval data type. This specifies an interval a relative value that can be used to increment or decrement an absolute value of a date, time, or timestamp. Intervals are qualified to be either year slash month intervals or day or slash or time intervals. Why don't we take a break right here, submit your mystery word that we talked about a while ago, and go out and check your knowledge on this episode. And when you're ready, come on back for episode four in our discussion of SQL.